you were saying. My thing, my main thing is experiencing Jesus. Experiencing Jesus, having Him real to me. At your seminar at that church uh, last October, you had that exercise about the presence yes, of Jesus, yes. and I was there. Right. I had a miserable and, negative experience. Um, yes. <laughs> and I thought, this sucks. I, the heck with this. I'm not doing this. This is stupid. You know, the presence of Jesus. I can't get the presence of Jesus. It ain't going to happen. There's no use in praying this because hmm. it isn't going to be answered. Hmm. That feels pretty true. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's definitely true. Okay, it, so and this ain't going to work. So we're just wasting our time. It's not going to work. You're not going to answer. We're wasting our time. Right, right. This feels terrible. I want to just get out of here. This hurts. Mm. This is the the longer mm. I wait in this place where I'm longing and I'm needing and I'm asking uh. and nothing's happening and it hurts and it hurts and I want to get out of here. I want to go to sleep. I want to leave. I want to right. go away. Oh, my mom and dad. I, I wasn't. I didn't. I, I couldn't get. I couldn't get connected with them. Right. I couldn't get connected with them. I need it. I'm I asking want, for it. Right. I'm pursuing it. Right. I'm trying to get it. Right. And nothing works. Nothing works. And I'm angry and rebellious. Mm. And I'm angry. And this is what I'm going to mm. do about it. Mm. I'm going to come down on the steps. The door's cracked open. I'm going to sneak down there. I'm going to sit down there. And I'm going to watch the through TV the through the crack of the door and see the reflection. Mm. And I don't care. I'm doing this. I'll show her. I'll show her. And so I'm going to. And I'm even confused. And I'm I don't confused. even know what's I'm, going yeah. on. But can I'm, you be with me there on the steps? Yeah. When I was that little boy right there. Right. Can yeah. you be with me? I don't think you will be with me yeah. for some reason. Right. And, and I, Jesus, I'm afraid you won't. I'm afraid you won't be with me. I honestly, yeah. I'm afraid you won't answer. Yeah. I know you're real. I know you're yeah, way yeah, out yeah. there. But I know but, you won't be with me. But what feels true is what, I'm right. afraid right. that you're not going to come. You're right. not going to be with me. You're right. not going to answer. Right here on the step right. where I need you, right. nothing's going to happen. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's how I feel, Lord. I don't know if I want you to be there. I'm going to take things into my own hands. I don't even, I don't even, well, that, I don't need you. Huh. Well, that little boy? What I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to make it happen. I don't need you. I'm going to. Oh. Take care of it myself. I take care of myself. I always take care of stuff myself. Huh. I take care of everything myself. Something doesn't, something isn't helping my wife or somebody isn't taking care of something. I get on the phone, I'll make it happen. What vulnerability? Well, what happens if you don't just take it into your own hands? Oh, then my if mom's going to hurt. Then my mom's going to boss me around and yeah. I, I'm not going to get what you, I want. You might not get you what you want. I won't get what I want. There may be places where he asks you to stand in the pain oh, instead of doing it yourself. Oh, well, that's, Lord, that's what I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the pain. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You mean I paid the money to come here? To the deal we're asking for is, okay. Lord, I'm going to surrender doing it myself. Okay. I'm going to surrender just making it happen. Right. And the trade is you're going to be with me. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually stay with the pain of not having it. Okay, but but you're gonna be with me. Yeah, you better show and, up, man. Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. I'm scared of the pain. I'm still willing to surrender, doing it myself. Yes. Help me to perceive your presence. Yes. And you tell me what happens. He's like, come here, baby. <laughs> He's like the Lord saying. It's like, you know, he's welcoming me. He's huh. welcoming me. He's just like, he's just like, like this. Huh. Mm. And he's saying, like, come unto me, all mm. you who are weak and heavy laden. Where's all the gray and the, and the gloomy? And he's I not going to answer. No gray. It's I see him. Well, but he's not going to answer. What do you, you mean? You know he's not going to answer. You no, said, you no, told no, me. No, I wrote no, it down. No, no, Listen no, here. He's, it's he's not going to work. You're not going to answer. We're no. wasting our time. You told. I wrote it down. I know. I know that's what I said. But he's there like this. I see him. He's saying, "Come here." I see him. Boy, I see his arms wide open. He's like facing me. I'm seeing him. Mm -hmm. 
I, I, and I understand I made a vow there and mm -hmm. I broke that. Mm -hmm. I understand what happened. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I am too. It's just amazing how, how persistently stuff gets transferred from real memories onto the Lord and including choices we make about the big people in our life as children. The, a vow or a choice to push dad away or turn away from mom or whether it's a teacher or our mom or dad or grandpa, those somehow get onto Jesus too. And we see the same thing over and over and over again that in some traumatic memory where a person made a choice, you know, I'll just do it myself or I'm not, they make some choice that's not intentionally pointed at Jesus, but somehow it ends up being applied to him in the same way, which sort of makes sense. And when we find it and move it, we see exactly what we saw with Doug. That all of a sudden he says, oh my goodness, there's Jesus standing, He's, here he is. Yeah, yeah, he's still there. Cool. Right here. I can go like to lean into him and he hugs me. <laughs>